Dragonflight is quite possibly the best expansion ever. This is my fifth expansion release, and Dragonflight by far has been the best. I think Blizzard is doing a good job of listening to people. There are a lot of quality of life things in this expansion that we've been wanting for a very, very long time. I'm going to share with you five reasons why I think you need to be playing Dragonflight why it's a good idea to come back or why it's a good idea just to start playing this amazing game in general what's going on everybody wild time here with another world of warcraft video we're going to talk about five reasons why i think dragonflight has been the number one release in my wow experience since the end of cataclysm so it's been a while but first i just want to thank everybody that has subbed to the channel if you've been watching the channel and you haven't subbed please consider doing so if you like world of warcraft content specifically gold making and mythic plus and whatever else the game has to offer then feel free to join up and sub thank you to all of the channel members thank you to everyone who leaves comments and likes these videos it really helps me out Keep in mind, it does take a lot of effort for content creators to put out content to you all to enjoy. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do it by purchasing a super thanks. Or if you're interested in getting perks and signing up for a monthly membership, you can hit the join button down below to see what those perks are for members that sign up for that uh, monthly membership. This video, however, is completely free. And I want to just really express how, like, awesome this expansion has been starting out well besides the three hours i couldn't get to the new zone that being excluded the content of this is amazing and i haven't even explored all of it yet there is a lot to go through there's a lot that i still don't know which is good because in a game like this an mmo where you're playing for a long period of time you don't want to figure everything out on day one or the first week right like you want to have some surprises you want to have some like journey in there you want to have some figuring out and stuff like that so dragonflight has really provided that so far but they've done it in a way to where it is now uh, i don't want to say easier but it's better the quality of life improvements that they've added are amazing let's go over them the first thing is dragon riding dragon riding solves a problem that we've had for a long time mainly you can't fly at the beginning of an expansion like ever and you have to do a long quest chain you got to get a lot of rep you have to do these achievements before you can even fly and that's not even offered until several months into the expansion a lot of the times dragonflight answers that with dragon riding we can fly sort of as part of your questing in dragonflight you're going to get your dragon pretty early on and that allows you the ability to get around the map super quick. You're not locked into a specific zone. You can fly around wherever you want, doing whatever you want, right? After you get dragon riding, you can go around and upgrade your dragon. So let's look here. This is the uh, dragon that I've chosen to ride. And up here in your mini map, you can pull this up and you can see that there are a lot of different things to unlock that give you different abilities. And that is done by collecting these dragon glyphs, which you can do right after you get your dragon. You can fly around and get these glyphs. Some add-ons that are going to be very helpful for this are, one, handy notes, and two, the handy notes dragon glyph add-in. Because what that's going to do is that's going to let you pull up your mini-map, and it's going to show you all the different places that you can get the dragon glyphs. There's also a lot of helpful stuff on Wowhead where people have... Um, like TomTom Tom coordinates, but I found this to be just as easy. And plus, they'll give you a tooltip with where it's at on the map. Mine don't have it because I've completed them. So they will actually disappear when you complete. I turned on the option to show the completed ones for the purpose of this video. Once you do that, you're good to go around. Let's just look and see how cool this is. So say we're right here, right? And we want to go, I don't know, down here to do this quest. Well, all we have to do, look at this. We fly up. And we can just fly. And we can go find this quest wherever it's at. And not only that, we could probably fly from this height. We could go across all the way to the other side of the map. Which solves a huge problem when new expansions came out. was navigating the terrain. You've got to fight your way to get to certain places. You don't have to do any of that now. You can just fly over wherever you want. And get to where you're going. Do your quest. 
get your herb, get your mining going on, or do whatever it is that you need to do. That is the best quality of life improvement by far that I have to say for Dragonflight. But it gets even better than that. If you've done this on one character, you get this on all of your alts. So like on this character, I've maxed out dragon riding. When I have an alt that comes to the Dragon Isles, I can hop on and I can do dragon riding right away, go to wherever I want in the map. Makes it super, super, super nice. Love it. That's my number one thing. Number two is we have an auction house. Yes, that's right. For so many expansions, the auction house has been available to engineers only, which was sort of ridiculous. So you had to like port to Stormwind or, or to Ironforge or to Orgrimmar or wherever it is that had an auction house. If you were an engineer, you had to port there, which is sad because you want to stay in the new zone, right? Dragonflight answers that. We have an auction house. So if you set your hearthstone to Valdraken, then you have access to this auction house. You don't have the Brutusaur mount, that's not a problem because you don't have to go far to post things on the auction house. The auction house is located right down here in uh, Valdraken at location 44.95, 58.62. And you can go in there and do all the stuff you need to do on the auction house. The next best thing that they've added is a one minute res sickness cooldown. Used to be 10 minutes, so if you died, it really, really punished you. So say, for example, you want to come down here and you want to get this draconium ore, and you're going to level away at it. Well, uh oh there's some mobs down here. What are we going to do? We're going to try to fight them, and we're going to try to kill them. But say you can't, or say you get caught up in an area where they're really, really hostile, and uh, you just can't get away from where you've landed, right? You've got a bad deal, and now you're dead. That used to be a big deal, because you would have to leave the graveyard as a spirit, come back to your body, res, and then try to run away from everybody here again. And that wasn't always possible. A lot of times you'd have to res, run, die again, res, run, die again, or you'd have to go do something else for whatever for 10 minutes while you waited for your res sickness to go away. Not the case anymore. Here we are, the graveyard. We could fly back to our body, but what we want to do is just accept. So this does do some damage to your armor. You take 50% durability damage. So there's going to be a little bit of cost associated with it to um, like get your armor back to where it needs to be. But look, all your stats are lowered by 75%, damage lower by 75%, but it's only for a minute, so you can wait it out. Super, super helpful because then you're back in the game. You can go reset, get away from those dangerous mobs, and do whatever you need to do. I love that. The fourth thing I love about this expansion is what they've done with professions. Now, professions are pretty complex in Dragonfly, right? But that's good because that means there is a lot to learn. There is a lot to work towards, which is what you want in an MMORPG, right? You don't want to have everything done in the first week. It can be frustrating because you have sort of this FOMO, especially if you're thinking about making gold. There's so many ways to make gold. You don't want to miss out on any of them. But uh, this crafting profession system is really going to do us well in the long run. I'm not talking about the work orders or anything like that. I'm talking about just the way that you do the crafting on a very base level. So, for example, blacksmithing, you have all of this stuff that you can learn, right? Weaponsmithing and all of these things in here, they do different stuff as you level them up. You know, armor smithing, specialty smithing, hammer control, and you can see here it does all kinds of uh, different kind of things when you do it. And they've added even um, items that you can use specifically for crafting like a blacksmithing hammer, um, pickaxes, and those don't take up bag space and they can have cool stats like deftness which helps you increase your um, farming speed or your crafting speed, you have perception, and you have these different kinds of stats that go specifically for crafting. So you can have a crafting set almost and you can definitely work towards making yourself the best crafter or gatherer or producing like the best armor and weapons uh, or gear that their game has to offer in the profession system. So it's complex enough to keep it interesting and uh, you know easy enough to get into that it keeps it fun. 
for gathering, we have two main ores. We have Ceravite and we have Draconium ore. There's four zones and they all have the same ores. So we've got two main ores. That's it. With three qualities each. Super easy, super simple. You've got four main herbs. Same thing. All the different zones. Super easy, super simple. And they made it really, really nice with these different herbs and the different ores you actually get other materials these um, rousing uh, materials that turn into like awakened things and you need them to craft different kinds of things uh in your crafting professions but you don't have to like farm elemental mobs which is where you can also drop them you can get them just from gathering which is super awesome love it it's super easy gathering is actually sort of fun again doing it like that and with leatherworking, there's a lot of different things you can get from leatherworking as well that um, are a good price right now and uh, keeps it simple and yet interesting. The fifth and last thing that I'm stoked about is that you're not locked into one zone. When you come to an alt, there are no more threads of fate, but if you've unlocked world quests on your main, your alt gets them right away. You got dragon flighting right away on your alt. So you can hop around to all the different zones that you want to go to and start questing wherever really that you want. Doing the world quest, doing the rep quest, start building rep for your professions, etc. Which is super, super awesome. They make it very, very alt friendly. So I'm super excited about that. And those are the five reasons why I think you should play Dragonflight, why you should come back to the game, why you should enjoy it. I am loving it so far. Got nothing but good things to say about it. I'm still figuring a lot of stuff out, which is fun for me. There's a lot going on, and it's been really great so far. So let me know what you all think down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Leave it in the comments, and uh, yeah, we can talk about it. Join the Discord down below. It's free to join. Don't forget to sub to the channel and like the video and have fun playing the game. And until next time, I'll catch you all later.